The Boston Celtics' terrifying new wing is damn enticing, and you're about to find out exactly why every fan in New England wants his jersey. Jordan Walsh is a lockdown defending wing whose NBA-ready strength, wingspan, and lateral quickness shocked the basketball universe at 2023 Summer League. Why are people calling him the steal of the draft? How does he fit in so well with Boston's personnel? And which qualities make him prepared to instantly contribute to a contending Celtics rotation right off the bat? Trust me, you're going to want to keep it locked right here. Right quick, just 14.6% of you watching are subscribed, so please subscribe, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and for a follow back, follow at DeepFlowHoops on Instagram and Twitter. So this year's finals MVP, Nikola Jokic, was drafted 41st overall back in 2014 by Denver, just under a decade later, and the 38th overall selection in 2023 by Boston has a chance to make himself into another all-time great second-round steal. While the five outings he just suited up in were only summer league games, when you compare Jordan Walsh's debut to Victor Wembenyama's, Wemby had merely nine points total, whereas JW had racked up that point threshold after one quarter alone. Walsh ended up doubling the number one picks total in his first pro game with 18 to lead Boston in scoring while knocking down four threes, racking up five boards, to go along with two steals and a block. The 3 and D prospect with a 7'3 wingspan started 25 games for the Arkansas Razorbacks in his lone freshman year at the NCAA level. As a Razorback, his intensified one-on-one -on -one ball pressure stood out as utterly bothersome. Per 40 minutes, he averaged 1.8 steals per game, but by the eye test, it was his impulsively aware ground coverage and perceptive hands that created an evident nuisance, whether that showed up in the form of swiping it away slash off of his matchup, or rising up to swat them. This stunt is executed by Jordan cutting off the driving lane, 1-2 stepping into a frantically managed recovery jump, planning a wide stance, and somehow staying on balance to smoothly shuffle out of it, then reaching in to force the turnover. This next play shows you both his off-ball and on-ball aptitude all in one. He stays put with a fundamental stance while getting sized up, then keeps his hands out, body centered, and feet moving to force the attacker into a spin move and kick out, staying with the play, and Walsh proceeds to provide help down low, vaulting onto the center and snatch blocking his post attempt. Offensively, he showed the capacity to adapt to multiple roles, whether that was chilling in the dunkers and making the proper read, taking it off the dribble before utilizing his reach to extend for wide-ranging layups, or letting it fly with a polished and under-control jump shooting release. Brad Stevens may have legitimately taken a major steal with this number 38 overall pick when you take into account how Walsh performed in Las Vegas for the 2023 Summer League. In five games, Walsh averaged 16 points, 4.2 rebounds, and 1.6 assists while playing 26.8 minutes per game. He knocked down 40.7% of his three-point shots and 78.9% of his free throws. After making under 30% of his deep range bombs at the college level, his summer league efficiency from three point range showed an evidently improved stroke. That shot drew gravity on this possession, but before that, watch how he executes this DHO and clear out action, baseline, then banana cutting around to the opposite wing. He then receives the Davison kick out before up faking to draw an out of control PBJ closeout, and saucily goes behind the back with his kick out pass to the corner for a ridiculous dime. Guarding Max Christie, Jordan anticipates Max is waiting for a screen after he crosses half, so he ramps up the pressure to 11, cutting off Christie's left hand to force him right, then reaching in for the timed-up knockaway and ripping it away on the floor just as a jump ball is whistled. Watch how concerned scouting reports are about his spot-up shot as he draws another wild closeout, then Jordan puts it on the deck and shuffles a flashy no-look dime to his big man. When neither here nor there help defenders opt to close out more lazily, watch how Jordan's parallel mechanics and polished 1-2 step allow him to calmly knock down this spot of triple. Displaying elusive magnitude without the ball, take in how Walsh signals to Davison like he's about to set the flare screen, instead front cutting to catch his matchup off balance, before gathering, up faking, and finishing around the help defender for an and one. Flopping's a tech this year, but Hood Chafino is forced into a legitimate push-off to force this flail from Jordan, and it's no wonder Hood illegally needed to create a bit of space with Walsh pressuring him like butter on toast. In transition, this play shows you his hands, finishing balance, strength, and flair all in one by Walsh collecting the Davison outlet, making up ground from beyond the perimeter to the paint in two dribbles, then putting his shoulder down to fend off the contact and gliding into the restricted area before flexing his muscle to display how easy it was. Coast to Coast Badge is evidently equipped as Walsh collects the rebound, shows you his improved handle from college by pushing it ahead to himself, hits LA with a couple dicey in and out moves, and splits both Christie and Swider for the end to end hoop. 
Some Jalen Brown type sauce right here as he crosses half, whips out a nice little hezzy cross combo in traffic for a personally manufactured three ball. Translating his stunt plus recovery aptitude from college to the pros, he blocks off the Cole Swider drive with his reach and positioning, gets back to his fellow summer league standout Christy, knows the scouting report says to force him right, and lines up his body and hands ideally for some cookies, then he takes it coast to coast and creates a play for the rolling champagne. Aside from the aforementioned very solid numbers put up in Las Vegas, being 16 point averages on over 40% three point shooting, what's evident from his on court production is that Jordan Walsh has an extremely high basketball IQ that's going to fit in with a Boston core, obviously in win now mode. A few factors make Walsh potentially the steal of the draft for the Celtics. There's firstly, the elite Jalen Brown at best, Rudy Gay at worst type hybrid he provides in terms of his two-way upside at the combo forward position. And secondly, his fit within the Celtics' expectedly much different core surrounding Jason Tatum next year. As of this recording, Jalen Brown and GM Brad Stevens have still yet to work out an extension. It's expected they'll come to terms on a new deal in the future, but even if they do, Boston's roster will look a lot different next year. They've already dealt Marcus Smart to Memphis and Grant Williams to Dallas, trades which netted them Chris Stapp's Porzingis in addition to a flurry of draft picks. This is going to leave Boston with a glaring hole regarding their depth at the very position Jordan Walsh fills out, that 3-4 spot. The adaptability from the product of Arkansas is to play either forward position with his length, shooting improvement, and ability to make the right play as a floor spacer or dunker spot pressure reliever should make him a staple in Joe Mazzulla's rotation. But in the shocking case that a deal can't be worked out with Jalen Brown, Walsh provides insurance. However, regardless, what's important here is he'll give the contending Celtics the depth they need both up front and on the wing interchangeably. Last year around this time, we talked about another Brad Stevens draft steal in J.D. Davison, who albeit spent year one developing in the G. But with how both Davison and Walsh showed flashes of fluid chemistry playing together in Vegas, both the rookie and sophomore could be looking at a major role amidst the Celtics' developing core off the bench. The damn enticing potential of Walsh fills a lot of holes for a Celtics team that'll look very different in 2023-24. The course and one goal remains the same for this continuously in contention Celtics core, title number 18, and despite the fact that he's about to be a rookie, Jordan Walsh's toughness and talent level is NBA ready, which will allow him to make an instant impact if given the proper opportunity. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video. Just 14.6% of you watching are subscribed, so please subscribe, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and for a follow back, follow at DFlow Hoops on Instagram and Twitter.